I'm feeling so dull today. Gray shirt, gray shorts, gray shoes. I got the gray shoes. Even the socks are gray. <laughs> and what is up, you guys? I hope you're having a wonderful day. I got these new gray shoes before the circuit breaker. Before everything goes closed, I got new shoes. But I haven't even worn them yet. And it's like two months already. All right. Here we are. Here we are. I came out today because I wanted to do a little workout. I wanted to walk a bit and have a bit of fresh air. Because like the last two months, it was like all indoors, indoors, staying in the room. So I thought like today, maybe I'll go out. Maybe I'll go for a little workout, a little walk. Sweat out a bit. Now as you can see behind me, there's a lot of joggers, a lot of cyclists as well. We are allowed to go out. We are allowed to go out and work out and get our exercise. But of course, we need to have like social distancing. We need to have a space. Like me, I'm going out for a little walk to sweat out because I don't know when was the last time I sweat. <laughs> By the way, I'm at Pandang Reservoir. This is Pandang Reservoir. And around Pandang Reservoir, there's this little path route for joggers, cyclists. Yeah. Woo! It's hard to breathe on this mile. I'm walking slightly on a faster pace to get my heart rate up so that I could sweat a bit. Hey, I don't know when was the last time I actually work out. <laughs> Guys, I must say, this shoe I bought, it's really comfortable. Oh my, look at the view. Yeah, sunset. This shoe I bought, it was cheap. It was like only $19. Oh yeah, I'm starting to feel the sweat. That's good, that's a good sign. got only like an hour to walk before it starts to get dark and I did not bring any of my low light lenses. This lens I'm using is a wide angle lens, it's not good in low light so I can't really vlog at night with this lens. Um, it'll be very grainy. But would you check out this view? My oh my. I mean this never gets old. I mean I was just being a little sarcastic because this is all I get right now. I gotta make do with this. That's all I have right now. Until I get to travel. Oh, so last week, last week it was my birthday. And guess what I did? I stayed at home. I stayed in my room. It just went by and passed like an ordinary day. I didn't even have a cake. Usually at this time of the year, I would probably be in Thailand. I'll probably be in Phuket, enjoying my holiday, enjoying my birthday. But no, I'm stuck here. Yep, gotta make the best out of the situation. By the way, I think we already did like one kilometer. Yeah, <laughs> so <laughs> it's ridiculous. One kilometer and I'm already tired. <laughs> what are all these floating plants over here? Hmm, huh. there's plenty. I should really start heading back now. It's gonna get dark soon. Look at me, I'm already sweating. Of course, the mask helps as well. Yeah. I wish I had my zoom lens to film those flock of birds. Look! Flock of birds! I don't know if, you can, if I'm pointing the correct way or not, but yeah! I probably did like three kilometers. By the time I get back, it'll be four. You know what's sweating? It's not my shirt. It's the mask. Internal. Alright guys, I'm finished with the walk. Ah, stairs. Uh, I probably took like an hour. Yeah, just like a quick little three, four kilometer walk. So I'll see you when I get back. I'm gonna go home, take a shower, a nice cool shower, and then, and then I'll tell you guys some more stuff. 
All right, guys, quick little shower done. I love it. Love the cool shower. Cooked a little meal to eat. And now, oh, now it's evening already. Hazel is fine, by the way. She is sleeping at the moment. When I said that she was sleeping, she woke up. So anyways, I thought like today, I want to talk to you guys about what I think moving forward from here, from this COVID-19, this coronavirus thing, because apparently it's like the hottest topic to talk about. And you guys seem to want to want to watch this kind of videos. Do you want to sleep? Say hi to everybody and then go to sleep, okay? It's time for bed. Go to sleep. To say that after this circuit breaker, this lockdown that we have in Singapore and everything will be normal on the 1st of June, I doubt it. I doubt that this coronavirus will go away so easily. I would say after the lockdown, after the circuit breaker for us, on the 1st of June, things wouldn't be the same like they used to. For one, you guys hate wearing masks? Well, get used to it. Because this mask is gonna be our fashion, it's gonna be with us, it's gonna be like part of our life. So get used to wearing the mask, get used to wearing it everywhere, at work, when you play, when you go out, this mask is still here to stay. My prediction is that we will still be wearing the mask in the whole of 2020. That's my guess. Speaking of masks, by the way, now I have a couple of masks here. Um, this, this green mask is free from our government. Uh, they gave it to us all. Problem is, I don't think that this is very safe. This is probably like a for show sure mask. But the good thing is that this green mask, though it's free and it's cheap, it's not as hot as the one that I'm wearing, the black mask. This black mask was given to me. It's like a high quality one. However, it is hot. It is freaking hot. Now, by the way, these are reusable masks. Meaning to say that if you use them, you wash them, you can use them again. This mask, this mask on the other hand, this mask, to be honest with you, I like this mask a lot better. Now, it does not look very pretty. It looks like you're gonna do some surgery on somebody or something. Going out with this mask is definitely not fashionable. <laughs> but the reason why I like this mask a lot better is that it is better protection. It's been used in operating rooms, so obviously it has to be better. But the thing is, it's not hot. That's the good thing about this mask. It's not hot. This cloth mask here, they are very hot. Now, one way to test if these masks are good or not, on the outer area, the blue part, it's supposed to be waterproof. Now, in the inner layer, it's supposed to absorb water. This is so that if you sneeze or if you cough, all the fluid and everything will be stuck at the back of the mask. On the outer side, nothing should be able to penetrate in. So, yeah. Some mask knowledge that I picked up. I'm no expert, by the way, but this is what I hear. This is what I learn. I'm just sharing it with you guys. Okay, that's all for the mask. Things will not be the same like they used to be. Even though after the lockdown, after the circuit breaker, when we go out, we meet our friends, we meet our relatives, we are still gonna be wearing the mask for sure. Now, my prediction on travel wise, I would see most countries start up domestic travels first. And then once domestic travels are okay and the country is stable, then probably they would start to open, not international, but region. Like instead of opening flights to international locations, they would open flights to Southeast Asia. So basically Thailand, Singapore, Malaysia, um, Indonesia, Vietnam, probably that's the kickstart. Probably flights will start going there around first. I do not see international flights going places like to Europe or America anytime soon. That's tragic, um, but I'm pretty sure it needs to take a little bit more time before things start to go back to normal. Now, my favorite part, which is social distancing. Dude, seriously, I think social distancing is gonna stay. We're still gonna have that distance spacing in queues. To me, I feel like that's a good thing. Like we should have done that a long time ago. If you watch all my old videos, I personally do not like to queue. And the reason I do not like to queue is that people, people like to queue really close to you for some reason. So close that whenever they breathe, you feel the air, you feel their breath. No, you smell their breath. Ugh. Or you smell their sweat. Yeah, I don't want to go into the details. I never like cues is because of the cluster, that tight space and everybody do not give you space. Well, I don't think we have that problem anymore. And I hope that this carries on 
for a long period of time, especially on the queues. I need space, guys. I just need space. That's the bottom line. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much my thought of what's gonna happen. That's my prediction for the future. And this whole coronavirus thing would probably be over once a cure or a vaccine is discovered. We just have to live with it, take the extra precaution and measures to stay safe. And if I'm being optimistic, it'll probably be over on my next birthday. Yeah, probably a year from now. Probably a year from now, we will be free of coronavirus. You know what? Let's mark it down on our calendar. Linus said 7th of May 2021 the coronavirus will extinct. All right, guys, I think that's pretty much it for today's vlog. I just wanted to pull out the camera and say hi to you guys. Nothing much, nothing big happened other than some businesses are slowly opening, preparing for the 1st of June. Yeah. Oh, McDonald's is open now. Yay, <laughs> McDonald's is back. And just a little quick update. Everybody is doing fine. Everybody is staying at home. We are all safe, but I do not know if we are sane enough. We are just trying to keep ourselves from not going mad. I tell you guys, really, we, if I can get this on, we need to use this mask and make it fashionable. For sure, seriously, this is my new fashion mask. I mean, like, I mean, this, this is the new fashion. Mask on mask, like double the protection. I mean, four walls in your house all the time, watching Netflix. How hard can that be, right? Right. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and I will see you in the next one. You guys keep smiling. See ya. This is... This is... Um, this is... Um, this is kind of hot. Yep. Woof.